Hey everyone and welcome back. So in today's video, I am going to be sharing with you some shoes that I regret buying, shoes that I spent a lot of money on and that if I have the information that I have now, I would get something else and that something else are the shoes that I'm also going to be showing you in the video and telling you about so that you get an insight of what to look for when you're buying really nice designer shoes. Towards the end of the video, make sure you're watching, I'm going to be sharing an update on a bag that I had reviewed and compared to my Chanel bag. The first pair of shoes might shock you, but these shoes, my friends, never stretched. And I am talking about the espadrilles from Chanel. If I were to repurchase these, I wouldn't get them. And the reason why I wouldn't repurchase this type of spadrille in specific, it's because I think of the shiny material. I forgot what the actual type of leather is or what this finish is. They don't stretch. You guys saw in my thumbnail picture that my foot was purple. Well, I'm not lying. That's how my foot is. And that's after like probably 10 minutes of walking. Instead, the ones that I would buy are these from Chanel. I'm not sure if they still have them in the store, but this is the type of look that you can go for because they're number one, they're open. And usually when they're open, it gives your foot more room, not to mention that they also bend when you walk on them a little better. And then the straps, they do feel a little tight, but I think that they can stretch. These are more promising than the actual espadrilles. I did everything you can imagine to stretch out the espadrilles and they didn't stretch out. So in other words, yeah, they're beautiful, but I would repurchase these right here instead. Now I'm going to talk about another pair of shoes that I talked to you guys about here on my channel and I reviewed them also here on my channel and they are the Socades by Christian Louboutin. This is what they look like. They're very tight on your foot. Keep that in mind. They are beautiful. I love Christian Louboutin. If it was up to me, I have my entire closet full of Christian Louboutins, but these specific style, I wouldn't repurchase them. The ones that I would repurchase that are at under a hundred dollars, my God, that was a tongue twister, are these. And these are actually a dupe. These are, um, I think it's pronounced Akusura, the brand, the one that Meghan Markle made like super, super famous. Well, these are by Bagley Mishka. I hope I didn't butcher the name either, but these are the most comfortable pair of heels that I have and I wanna get another pair. They are beautiful, they look so elegant and I've tried on the ones from Akusura, Akusura. I always get the name wrong. Let me know in the comments if I got the name wrong because <laughs> you guys always tell me but yeah the ones from Akutsura are, are just like very very uncomfortable I did see a pair that had the same material but they were in only one color that I saw the other ones were like a plastic material and that was going to be like so painful but these are very soft the heel is not that high but it's still very nice they are very elegant, very classy. You guys have seen them all over my Instagram, all over social media. I've created so many looks with them and they are just very comfortable. Now, if I had to choose between the Socades and these right here, I would definitely choose the Badly Mishka's heels because of the comfort that they provide. Okay, so now lastly, I'm going to be comparing sneakers because believe it or not, just because they're flat doesn't mean they are comfortable. These shoes are so, so uncomfortable. They are sneakers by Ted Baker. I love them because they are very stylish, but these you can, you can wear them like if you have to go somewhere you're gonna be sitting down but if you have to wear these like to go to a mall to walk in them i wouldn't recommend them because they are painful not uncomfortable they are painful if it was up to me i would get the white ones these are also by ted baker you guys have seen them on my instagram they're like converse shoes these are more comfortable they are more stylish these have a material that's a little bit more durable, more soft, which is great. And that's most definitely something that you have to keep in mind when you are buying shoes. Like these I wear to the mall. I wear them to go have dinner, have lunch, 
I can pretty much wear them with anything, with jeans, with leggings, with a dress. They are just beautiful and everything Ted Baker does, it is out of this world. Thank you for making it to the end. So I am going to be giving you guys an update on my Teddy Blade bag. It's full of stuff. I have so many things in here. The bag has not lost its quality. It's very sturdy. The material is durable. It hasn't worn out or anything. And also the pink color is still intact. It looks the same, the same for the hardware. The hardware looks incredible. It hasn't scratched or anything. And then in the bottom, it looks intact and looks really, really nice. The handle, obviously where you grab it from, it's intact. The leather hasn't ruined or anything. Something else that I noticed is that it hasn't peeled. If you guys remember, I had compared it to my Chanel bag. This is a classic double flap in pink. And I had done a side-by-side -side comparison on the video talking about if this bag that is in the hundreds, some of them are in the thousands. I think this one might be like a thousand something. I had compared them and I had given you my honest opinion. Do I think they're similar in quality? Absolutely. I think that Teddy Blake does offer really, really good bags at a very inexpensive price. If you don't wanna spend a lot of money on an everyday bag, this is most certainly a bag you should consider. So I do wanna thank you so much for watching until the end. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Marianella. I'm going to be linking the information for everything that I mentioned down in the info box, as well as for the Teddy Blake bag. They sponsored today's video, so thank you so much. Be sure to subscribe before you go. I have a ton of more videos that you can browse through and I will see you next time.